Welcome back. Another local election update for you right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. In the presidential race, more states are being called right now. In fact, here's the story in Ohio. The Associated Press and NBC News have now projected Donald Trump the winner. He'll take Ohio's 17 electoral votes. Indiana and Kentucky, by the way, already went for Trump a little earlier tonight. And when you talk about the balance of power, all eyes right now on Ohio and the Sherrod Brown, Bernie Marino race for U.S. Senate. And this has gone back and forth tonight. The lead continues to flip flop as votes come in. If Moreno wins, it could mean a shift in the balance of power here in the U.S. Senate. And you're taking a look right now where Moreno is ahead with 66 percent of the votes in already tonight. And supporters for both candidates closely watching these numbers, obviously, as they pour in. Our WLWT News Size anchors Ashley Kirkland, Chris Jacobs, both covering the campaigns. Chris is with Moreno's camp tonight up in Cleveland. We begin with Ashley Kirkland live in Columbus, where Brown's campaign is stationed right now. And Ashley, how are they feeling? Hi, guys. There is a nervous excitement here as people start to file in to this uh, watch party. We have several speakers that have taken the stage, including Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. People are here with their children. You see elderly people here. And at times, they look up at the screens where MSNBC has been on, and they've been cheering for those wins for uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. We will have much more from uh, Sherrod Brown's watch party a little bit later in the night, guys. Back to you, Mike and Sherrod. Ashley, thanks so much, Brown. Challenger Republican Bernie Marino is also feeling good tonight. Yeah, let's go right now to Chris Jacobs. He's in the Marino camp right now. What are they saying there, Chris? <laughs> Hey, Mike. Yeah, the room in Westlake has slowly filled up over the past couple of hours. Everybody's watching the Senate race very closely. Uh, we haven't seen anybody take the podium just yet, uh, but we are expecting Bernie Moreno to speak here later tonight. And we've also heard the energy slowly pick up as these results, at least at the moment, are looking more favorable for Moreno. Now, we've heard applause and boos as the results from the race and others have been put up on the projector tonight. But at the moment, the room remains cautiously optimistic for Bernie Marino. Reporting live in Westlake, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. All right, Chris, looking at the Hamilton County Sheriff's race right now. Current top cop Charmaine McGuffey facing her old boss, former Sheriff Jim Neal. Yeah. Neal is hoping that he can regain his seat after switching to the Republican Party this time around. And here you can have it right now. Charmaine McCuffey taking the lead handedly here, 62 percent with about 21 percent of the votes in right now. All right, that's all for now. We're back in one hour with more local election results. We'll see you then.